close in skill level. Bunk's kind of rising up a little more recently. PSI guy having been established for a while. So I can't wait to see what these two bring to the table in this matchup. Oh, World 8 PSI guy. All right. That's right. Got brought in by World 8. World 8 picked up a lot of players, actually, rec recently. Just whoever's the regulars, they get picked up. Yeah, they got Mexican, Anuar, Shuga. World 8's an amazing organization. Shout-outs to those guys. Yeah, I need to go there more, but... Same. I'm doing stuff on Thursdays, so, like, I can't go. Yeah, I feel that. I'm getting ready to a dash attack. There's the PK Thunder. PSI guy having a mess, a very large lead at the start of this match here. How's Bunks going to respond? A little four throw, just keeping him, keeping his back. This should be an edge guard. Oh, no. Oh, okay. wow. Ooh. Incredibly smart, holding down the down on the control stick to get past that yo-yo trap. Okay. <laughs> that was the best option there. Just wait him out. If he would have jumped in, he would have got hit. That down tilt hitbox putting in a lot of work, but can't quite finish the combo. Ooh, the up B decided to go high. Such a bizarre launch angle from that up B. Just dropping down, getting the mirror, and that's the first stop. 78% here, there's the PK fire. Very Cat. nice read on the directional air dodge there yeah. with the PK fire. PSI guy just kind of scrapping with him right now, getting these little hits wherever he can, and it's slowly building up to a larger and larger lead. That uh -oh. PK fire was beautiful. Ooh. That would have got it too. A couple of nares, the jabs, not really gonna do it. Oh, that was a that was a weird fireball. I don't I don't necessarily give it that fireball. That was that was really yeah. Bizarre. You don't want to be fireballing in that position, I think. And just like that, he's gonna live. But now he's in a horrible position off stage against Ness. Somehow SDIing out of that Back and throw. living the back throw. Bunks is determined not to lose the stock here, but he also needs to be just as determined to get the stock off of PSI guy. Just a little bit too much percent. He thought he could follow up that PK Thunder with an up air. Wasn't, wasn't going to be able to do it. The backer is still living. Such a sneaky little up air there coming in from PSI guy. Suddenly he's up three stocks to one. There it is. Back not for long. Yeah, that's, good. that's definitely going to do it. But still up. Ritty big mountain to climb here, but a couple combos. Bunks hey. is definitely starting to climb it. Oh, Almost no. gonna get punished for that up B. Good on PSI guy to catch it at the last second. Oh, another PK fire just gonna catch him. The down smash not reaching over the ledge like he wanted. PSI guy has just his advantage state in this game has been so solid, and he's given Bunk such a hard time getting out of it from off stage and from being above him, and even just on the ground. PSI guy just has constant stage control and Bunks just can't seem to adapt quite in time. Backer? No, he thought it was gonna thought it was gonna land right now. Right on him. The parry there to no avail. There's mm. Nair to up smash. Just getting a little bit Trying desperate here for stocks. Oh my goodness. PSI guy does not care. He'll just throw out as many of those as he wants to. Oh, smash smashes. attack city. Okay. Another fireball there. Just questionable decisions here on the fireball. Yeah, and fireball especially situational against Ness with that magnet. What's he going to do? Wow, not managing to get the stock, but he, then he still does it. He calls him out with he calls him out on the roll, so now 119% here on this stock. Bunks is very much still in this, but it's going to take a lot of work. Or just the early forward air. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Oh, just caught him jumping a little bit too much. PSI guy decided to stay planted. He's not going to let him get spinning. that KO. And just like that, PSI guy goes up 1-0. I'm honestly a very dominant performance there from PSI guy. But at the end, it seemed like Bunks was starting to catch up to his pace a little bit. And I feel like we're going to see a little more competitive of a game too. Yeah, P PSI guy has a tendency to do that. He tends to start off really, really strong. And then maybe halfway through the match, it starts to dissipate a little bit, and his opponent starts to uh, starts to catch on. Oh, you got a match? Right. Yeah, I got a match. All right, good luck out there, buddy. Commentating. Thank you. Be gentle with the mic. Oh, God. All right, anyway. Not getting right into it. But like I said earlier, PSI guy does have a tendency to start off very, very strong, sort of dissipate about halfway through, and then just able to uh, grind his way back into getting the victory. But Monk's... Quite the opposite story here, actually coming out to a strong start himself. So we're going to see how that goes. There's 
Mirror out of shield, not really going to get much. And up smash is calling out whatever option he has, jumping in. 0% now has 10% thanks to a little bit of PK fire. The forward throw here. And now PSI, PSI guy hopefully working on a uh, on an early stock here just from edge guarding. We'll have to see how this goes. Oh, great parry into the up smash. Not really going to do it. The forward air just decided to cross him up and get far enough away to be able to do it. But still, he just walks over and just lands an up smash on, on his jumping option. And that's going to be the stock. So 36% here on his... First stock from Bunks. This is starting to look like a great lead. Oh, so. Oh, there's the forward tilt there. Just keeping his back towards the ledge. Every single option he's been calling out. Really quick back air there. The PK fire there. Just going to tack on just a little bit more damage. PK Thunder not really going to be doing much. Calling out the jumping option there with the up smash. And there's the forwarder. No jump here. Oh no, he had a jump. Okay. Ooh, the fake out there. A little bit of a dash away into the forward smash, and that is going to do it. The back air into the down into the downer. If you get that enough coming to play, great use of the cape there, just keeping him away. Another couple of up smashes there coming out from PSI guy. Just another one, just trying to call out any sort of jumping option, but Bunks deciding to just stay planted, not really do much out of it. Once again, another up smash coming out from PSI guy. This one actually connecting. Forward throw. PK fire now coming into play. Thought the forward air was going to do it. Thought the nair was going to do it, and it ends up just getting stuffed by the up B. Ooh, the down smash catching him at the ledge, and that is going to do it. Back throw, not really going to do it. One stock apiece here. PSI guy just holding on to his final one. The forward smash not going to do it, giving him an opportunity to punish. And only able to get the down throw and not much else out of it. Ooh, another up smash there, just catching him from behind. Back throw, no, not really going to do it. Another forward smash, not... Not going to be enough here. Look, oh, there's the Nairn. 130%. We've seen some weird rage combos coming out from Ness before. 142 now. Able to air dodge right back to the stage. No jump here in this situation. What's the problem? No, no plan there. Trying to wait him out. Another couple backers there. And there's the up smash out of shield. And that is going to do it. Bunks with the rebuttal. Tying this up at 1-1. One, one. My group chats are exploding a little bit here. All right, there we go. <laughs> I had to mute them all. Anyways, game three. PSI guy versus Bunks deciding to go to the same stage. They're actually on the same stage the entire time. There's a quick up B out of shield. Short hop back or out of shield there coming up from Bunks. And now we'll just see who can get the stronger start here. It just seems to be whoever can get the momentum first is pretty much going to win the whole game. Ooh. Double up air into the forwarder. Not really going to do it. The PK fire into the grab. Oh, PK Thunder 2. Not really going to do it. Back throw. Another forward throw there, just going to call out any option he has at the ledge. The, pe the side magnet there, not really going to do much to call out any sort of landing option, but once again, just catching him again. Another fireball, second jump, able to make it back, the dash attack. Going to have a second jump still, able to air dodge right back up into the stage. That air dodge drift is insane. Another there, able to up be a little high, but right into his... Right into the yo-yo, right into the trap. 125% here, what's the plan? Another up smash out of shield, not really gonna do it, and goes for the empty hop right over him into an up smash, and that is going to take the stock. So now two stocks left here, five minutes on the clock. Ooh. Up throw, downer. Side magnet into the backer, just trying to stall his momentum a little bit, trying to mix up any defensive options that Bunk may have. 
Another up air, another up air into the forwarder. Lots and lots of damage there. Another up B out of shield. It's gonna tell him to stay away. New side magnet into the forwarder, trying to get the grab immediately afterward. Just not getting the timing down just right. Quick little back throw, not really gonna do it. There is the back air. Still keeping him there at the ledge. Dash attack not gonna do it, but able to just chase him down and get another back throw. Oh, the, the PK fire, and he actually whiffed it. He got an up B right out of it, and there's, this, there's the double jump back here. They're calling out the jump. It's now PSI guy on his winner's side stock here. Oh, Bunk's cruising at a 71. About average for the amount of, uh, amount of fighting he was doing in the second stock. So, see how it goes. Calling out the stall there with the forward air off the, off the magnet. Ooh, there's a short hop up air, able to get some strings going. Another up smash there, getting a little bit desperate here. Ooh, another PK fire, and there's the up smash. Not going to be enough. PK Thunder able to keep him up in the air for a little bit longer. Another up smash, not getting the range that he wants. Ooh, but there's the up air, and that's still not going to do it. 146%. Up smash will obviously do it. Maybe even a back throw here at this point. 67%. He's got to start watching it. Ooh, there's the roll in. That's the up smash. 67%. To Bunk Zero here. He's seen some crazy comebacks before. Hacker thought he was going to roll away. Thought he didn't get the PK fire to get him. 51% cutting the lead in half. There's another backer there. Just keeping him there at the ledge. The PK Thunder too. Oh, that could have done it, but he ends up getting in the way of it. 29% just keeping him there at the ledge. This is where Bunk excels. Up smash. Not really going to do it. There's the Nair into the up smash, but a little bit too floaty. Able to actually just float right above it. A couple fireballs there. Just going to be trying to get... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Unbelievable, oh my goodness.